morning, scholars and faculty and families. What? It's crack a y'all. What a beautiful morning and day it is today as we get to um, celebrate each day as a day to live with intention, to live with purpose, and to be relentless, guys. Hey, let's go ahead and get cracking as we do every single morning. Off with our joke of the day and our pledge and all that. Hello, scholars and faculty. I want to do the all one on tree with expectation. We choose to be respectful, responsible. Readers, runners, and we rise and make right choices. Hi, my name is Jake Mendoza. I'm going to tell you about the joke of the day. What do you call two birds in love? Mm. Just think about it. Tweet hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so awesome right there, guys. I love the jokes. Keep them coming. Hey, we have one very special birthday today to Gracie Palmer in first grade. I'm really, really hoping that today is a great day. Gracie, we're going to go ahead and sing a little song to you. Here we go, here we go. Happy birthday, birthday, birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. All righty, Gracie. Well, I'm wishing you a very, very happy birthday. And I hope that your day is off the frizzle today. All right, well, there is so much to share in this morning announcements. We're going to plow through this. Let's go. Well, do you know that the pit stop is still well and alive? Again, the pit stop is our store where we used to buy things using our scholar dollars. Well, we haven't been using scholar dollars, but as you guys know, your teacher chooses two scholars every week, right? And we have purchased new items, so we're releasing new items every week. So for this week, scholars who are chosen, you'll be able to select from some of these guys. Look at those great hacky sacks. Man, I remember that when I was a kid, right? They get to kick them around. We have some stress relief balls, like little squishy little guys. Look at these, we got these fidget spinners. Uh, we got some Play-Doh now that you guys are going to be able to choose from. Again, these are the things that you're going to be able to choose this week. We're going to switch it out about every week or so. Look, at we got Among Us. I know that Among Us is very popular. My All three of my kids play Among Us all the time. Uh, plush Bears, Dinosaurs. Hey, so we got all kinds of great things, guys. So make sure you guys are keep uh, being relentless. Keep our school-wide expectations because we are wanting to reward all of you for making those great choices. Hey, tomorrow is going to be red. E day, all right. So everyone's gonna be wearing red as we are getting ready to return. I know that next week TK Kinder first and second grade are gonna return, and then the following week is third, fourth, and fifth. And then my my awesome sixth graders, as of right now, unfortunately, the still the plan is you guys are not returning as of now. I'm really hoping that does change. We're waiting on the school board on that decision. But guys, wear your guys red tomorrow. Hey, but this is the last. Oh. Uh, Last two days of March's um, empathy theme, right? We have a superhero characteristic theme. Go on over right here, as some of these scholars have, have already done, to the, um, the uh, Flipgrid. It is so awesome, guys. I want to share right now just a very short clip of this month's chosen empathy scholars. Check it out. In Miss Spring's class, we have Natalie Rodriguez. Natalie is always encouraging others to try their best. She also helps to make other students feel better when they are sad or make mistakes. In Mrs. Ness's class, we have Hector Sanchez. Hector is always there to give someone words of encouragement. He works hard to lift the spirits of his classmates. When someone is struggling, he is the first to be there to help them find a solution. Great job. For other people, um, for me, for me, like, you know, there's like some homeless and stuff like that. Um, I really want to like give them some food, give them some money, and I want to like we like we have to care about people what what they do. If there's something they give us a prize that's not that big, you still have to be be um appreciate. Wow, man, that is so beautiful. It is so cool to see. So many of you scholars just choosing to uh, empathize with other people, help people, and put yourselves in their shoes. 
Well, guys, you can view those videos all on your own. If you go to the Together We Can Become Superheroes, bam, it is right there. Uh, Miss Tackett, she is just an all-star in putting this all together and interviewing all you guys. So go ahead and check that out right there and show your parents. Well, as you guys know, we are returning to, to school. And every day this week, we are doing little short snippets of our, our, our video. I want to show you another snippet right now, guys. Check this out. We are making a few adjustments to our pickup procedures, and we'd like to share some of those with you right now. So first of all, you're going to pull all the way ahead to the cones. And then what you're going to be given is one of these sheets that has the child's name along with the teacher's name. And as you can see right here, one of our side aides is going to radio the, one of the other teachers or side aides so that they can go ahead and have your child come to your car. Then as you can see, you're going to be remaining in your car and the child will walk to your car. And once they are safely in there, you're going to pull over to the second lane and then you're going to go ahead and make your way out. And then what's going to happen is that th this is actually going to happen throughout the entire first lane. Uh, once again, like as you can see, the, the, the side aid calls for the student because they read it off of the sign and then the student is notified. And that student goes all the way now down to the car. And when they get in, you guys can go ahead and pull over to the left hand side and exit campus. All righty. Well, so as you guys know, uh, we just discussed um, the dismissal process. You can view the the entire video right here. If you go to the general channel, it's going to be called dismissal. That's where you can find uh, more details because even after that demonstration, there was another a few minutes where I look at the map and I kind of go through it again. This is actually very important, scholars, that you let your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, cousin, whoever's going to be picking you up, you want them to know where to pick you up so that we can have the, the uh, smoothest process possible. So go ahead and let them know about that as well. Uh, well, check this out, guys. I really hope that uh, many of you guys came out yesterday. And yes, this was the big surprise. We got every single one of you guys your own, they're called mimbles, a mimble. It's kind of like the word a thimble, but with the M, mimble. And these, if you guys, once you open these, these guys are so soft, right? I mean, I love my little dude right here. Look at it. They're just so soft. They they are, look at it. You can kind of put the last little head back and go, Hata! It kind of flies up right there. But guys, these are soothing tools. They're going to be like, one of your next best friends, it, this, is a, this is a way that we are reaching out to you guys to have like a, a little buddy. And if you think this is just for like little little kids, think not, guys. Adults love these. These are great. And so keep this with you wherever you go. The teachers will be getting one as well. And, and we're going to be doing some activities um, as a school and also within your own grade level with your teacher. Okay. Um, here's a short, short clip, like 30 seconds of yesterday's event. So cool right there, guys. So come on out to the office. If you were not able to get yours yesterday, no problem. Come on out and you can go ahead and grab that. We got one for every TK all the way up to sixth grade. Every one of you guys. We love you guys so much right there. Well, we continue to pump it up. That's just what we do, y'all. We pump it up and we don't stop pumping it up around here. Let me just share... I think that these are these are the final numbers for the month of March, since now we are in April now. So we earned or read 3,730 books. Woo, yeah. And we read 5,289,603 words. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. So, guys, we rocked it. Like, it's cool, guys. If you just look at the other schools, guys, I mean, we just continue to dominate. This just shows, guys, that our commitment to reading, your guys' uh, commitment to, to, to wanting to be an elite reader, 
and knowing that reading makes the difference. And so, guys, let's continue to do that. We'll go over the, uh, the, the winners of each class on Monday. But if you want to actually look right now, you can just go on the website. You can go and look right now. But we'll do that here online on our morning announcements on Monday, as we, as we always do every Monday. So, so we didn't quite uh, meet this goal right here, guys, but that's okay. You know what, guys? It's actually great to always have goals. We're going to keep pressing on. We will try the same goal next month. I'm so proud of every single one of you guys. It just blesses my heart. I'm just so filled with joy. Let's continue to what? We read. We read. We read, we read, we read, we read. We read. We read, we read, we read, we read. We read. We read, we read, we read, we read. That is what we do, guys. Hey, let's make this a great day or not. The choice is yours.